When a motorist joins the 17 billion shillings Nairobi Southern Bypass just off Langate Road, not far from Wilson Airport, the ride appears smooth, but only briefly. To the uninitiated, the Southern Bypass has some tarmac parts in good condition, but it also has a tough, rough stretch of road several kilometers long from Langate Road to Mombasa Road off Ole Sereni Hotel, not far from the Nairobi National Park's fence. A stretch that becomes a test of resolve and resilience for man and machine. One by one the vehicles are put to the test, the huge trucks sagging under the strain of the heavy cargo being balanced in the rough terrain, the smaller cars scrapping their underbellies on the rough road. Many drivers manage to steer through the southern bypass trouble-free daily, despite the punishing jams and rough road. But for some, they're forced to park by the wayside. This broken light truck nearly caused a mega gridlock after it broke down. But thankfully, police officers on patrol led by a Sergeant Kisilu bravely withstood the scorching sun and controlled the traffic. Kilometre after kilometre, mile after mile, the drivers and their passengers endured a torturous journey here. The verdict from many motorists is clear for all and sundry sections of the road are in a deplorable state. It's not complete, it's bad. Very, very bad. Then we are also not disciplined as drivers. So it's better to have a uh, one way only here. Otherwise, the road has to be doubles. Many of the motorists joined the Southern Bypass, being built by the China Road and Bridge Corporation to escape the mega jams on Mombasa Road. To help traffic on Mombasa Road move faster, the Nairobi County government moved the drums along the Bunyala and Lusaka roundabout further inside to free up the inside lane and allow motorists on the highway to continue with their journey uninterrupted. It also allowed motorists joining the Lusaka roundabout near Nyayo Stadium to use the inside lane to make a U-turn towards the South Sea flyover. Previously, they had to go all the way to the Bunyala roundabout to make the U-turn towards the bridge. The Nairobi County government says since the changes, traffic is moving faster in parts of Westlands, Waiyakiwe, Bagadiwe, Karen, Langata and Estates interconnected by some of the aforementioned roads. The county government is also acting on the southern bypass challenges. Nairobi Governor Dr. Evans Kidero toured the ongoing 28-kilometer project that links Kikuyu Town to Mombasa Road, Vyangong Road and Langata, expressed his concern about the poor state of parts of the incomplete road. The Nairobi City County now says the road will be closed for five days starting tomorrow Sunday to allow emergency repairs. County Executive in charge of Transport Mohamed Abdullahi says the contractor will level the sections that have huge gullies and potholes and apply gravel to make the driving experience safer and faster. The construction work will go on day and night for those five days after which the southern bypass will be reopened. Other bypass projects include the eastern bypass linking Mombasa Road and Ruiru and Kiambu Road near Kamiti and the northern bypass which links Limuru Road and Thika Road. The 17 billion shillings Nairobi Southern Bypass was supposed to be the 28-kilometer long answer to the gridlock on the Mombasa Nairobi Highway. But instead, that situation is expected to be worse given the traffic gridlock here from tomorrow when it will be closed for five days to allow for emergency road repair works. Abdi Osman, Citizen Weekend, Nairobi.